sense. And, uh, through this vision I had, and, uh, you know, whatnot, we created this events portal on our website, healing, uh, excuse me, we have healingsounds.com, but we have a special website for World Sound Healing Day, which is worldsoundhealingday.org, and we basically created this whole events portal, which uh, allows people uh, to post their events, and basically, uh, it's very cool. And in fact, Raja, people throughout the planet, throughout the globe, can go to worldsoundhealingday.org, find the portal, which is very prominent, and if they want to just participate in a group, all they have to do is go to the link that's provided. If they want to create uh, and sponsor a group, and then they can do that and post it. And we now have over a hundred uh, events that are now going to be made available for World Sound Healing Day, February 14th. And uh, we are so excited because it's just, uh, I think it's bigger now. What well, Every year, World Sound Healing Day does, in fact, get bigger and bigger and more and more people because people want to participate. They want their sound to be encoded with compassion, with loving kindness, with healing for ourselves and our planet. And so now, in 2021, we have more people than ever that are waiting in the wings to either participate or create a group. And in previous years, we've mostly focused on working with the outside, which many consider to be the sound of love uh, coming from the heart. Ah. You know, it would be you know, sounding an ah as a sonic valentine. But I really received as a message to make World Sound Healing Day more inclusive that we simply work with any sound. Oh, that's wonderful. And what's the best way for somebody who this is the first time they've heard about it and they really want them to take part in it? What's the best way for them to start doing that. Go to worldsoundhealingday.org. That's simple. And hopefully the site was uh, created properly, and then if they have an uh, event that they want to create, uh, they can go see, because once again, there are over 100 e events, everything from crystal bowl players to uh, electronic uh, disc jockeys to um, you know, chamber orchestras. To, uh, we've even got a... Uh, Tibetan monk and then some and there are events happening throughout the planet and it's not just necessarily single people, some of these are if you like their own gatherings, festivals and whatnot. but I'm going to just also say that this is not well, a summit or a festival or anything particularly you know that, you know, that we are creating we are co-creating this with the planet and I was just given instructions to just make this different so rather than being a, uh, sponsored by uh, Healing Sounds, it's simply we're providing a portal where people can list their event, and then we just trust the energies of light and love through sound. That if these events are created with gratitude, with compassion, whatever sound is created, whether it's an om, an ah, a Tibetan bowl, a crystal bowl, or a kazoo, it'll be a healing <laughs> sound. It will be absolutely a healing sound. And also, Raja, because there are so many different events that have already been posted, actually on February 14th, people can go to, to any of them or all of them, really. They probably wouldn't want to quite go to all of them, but they can kind of hop around and, <laughs> you know, experience oh. and sound healing from many different wonderful, beautiful and, you know, and, and some events, people, you know, have, have tickets for some events. Uh, people even, you know, I mean, most of them, as far as I know, are pretty uh, free and are going to be wonderful. So people are charging for them. I just wanted uh, to allow and not constrain being totally fluid and being totally inclusive. And we'll see what spirit has to offer. But I think that the spirit of the sound surrounds the earth. Oh, that's wonderful. And all the other different dimensions. So you mean they can go to that your site and they can experience all these different places that are doing that by clicking around there? Probably. 
Hopefully. I don't know. We'll have to see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know, they can, you know, once they go to worldsoundhealingday.org and they go into the portal, that is where they will see What's uh, going on? all the different events and, and the people that oh. have come to the events have pictures and, and stuff is scheduled and descriptions of the event. It's not happening until February 14th. Right, right. But uh, a lot of people, you know, post this stuff uh, days or even I see, weeks ago. I see. It's That's wonderful. Cool. I'm so happy. I'm just wow, so great. <laughs> Well, it reminding me it reminds me to let everybody know, our listeners know that you can go to our chat room right now, and all of these websites are posted from everything that Jonathan has just shared with us, and what I shared earlier about all the events by our able assistant Mimi from Cuba uh, slash Atlantis. <laughs> She is posting all these websites, the Goldman's phone numbers, everything, so you can make sure you can um, get these contacts even if you don't have time to write them down. They're all in print in the chat room, and you're welcome to go there. And our call-in number is 517-208-1500. And we're so happy to have our guests here, Jonathan and Andy Goldman, the messiahs of sound, sharing with us their loving frequencies and vibrations. So, Ra, yes, I. Just a moment, just as I think to talk about sound, and you know, there's been a whole lot of, uh, and this is wonderful, but there's a whole lot of work, awareness uh, into what is called heart-brain coherence, where your heart and your brain are basically synchronized together. And this is great, because when that happens, the electromagnetic field that we generate becomes anywhere from five, uh, 500 to even 5,000 times greater than normal. And on that level, we can most probably interface with the electromagnetic field of our beloved planet, as well as with each other. But I want to say that a key ingredient that we have discovered, uh, which is so old and so ancient, it'll make sense as soon as I suggest it, is sound. When you add sound to this heart-brain coherence, which is simply, if you like to deep breathing with the energy of love and gratitude down into your heart, but when you add the energy of intentionalized, loving sound, it makes it even greater. And the reason for that, well, think about it. The various prayers on our planet are, for the most part, vocalized. They're whispered, sung, spoken, chanted, but they're vocalized. Why is that? That's because sound amplifies the power of prayer. Sound amplifies the power of our meditation. Sound is able to focus our consciousness and intent, the likes of which other things are not. In the beginning was the word, and the Lord said, let there be light. Sound actually preceding light. And in fact, our astrophysicists are telling us now that the original sound of creation was not the Big Bang, there was this low electromagnetic cosmic hum. That's actually scientifically true. Yeah, it's beautiful, Jonathan. I remember when I went to India the first time and traveled all of India for one year up and down and in the middle and all around and back again and going to all the ashrams and I would ask the gurus and the teachers, oh great gurus, masters of the ancient wisdom, what is the best of all these yogas? And they would say, my son, the highest yoga is the yoga of sound followed by the yoga of light. They never said how you learned or experienced the yoga of sound, but they said it was the highest yoga, yoga of sound and light. And they said, just throw all your books away and practice the yoga of sound. How do you think, Brother Jonathan, that people actually practice and imbibe in the yoga of sound? That's beautiful. Great question. And if I can, there are just two major approaches. The first one is through deep inner listening, which is called Shabd Yoga, S-H-A-B-D, or Nada Yoga, and that is the yoga of the sound current where you simply listen, tap in to the inner sounds and travel on uh, 
the different planes of consciousness that are created as waveforms of the divine, and the other is through making sound, whether it's using a mantra, a chant, or whatnot. Our favorite uh, sound, which is actually said to have come from the Vedas, believe it or not, uh, in the uh, Yoga Sutras, they talk about the original sound of creation being pranava, the humming of prana. And that ultimately was uh, given a name, they called it Om. But Andy is going to for a second talk about the power of the hum. The hum. You know, we, Jonathan and I uh, co-authored a book called The Humming Effect. And what we decided was we thought, what can we do to get sound really out to the people in a broader sense? And we knew that everyone knows how and has hummed. And because humming is such a... a, a, a all-inclusive. All well, it's all-inclusive, and it's so simple, yet it is so effective. And so when we are humming, Raja, that that sound goes right into, it's almost like we receive an internal massage. It goes into our bodies and vibrates in that frequency. Uh, and, and I want to back up for just a moment because along with the sound, what is so important is our intention. And when we couple our intention of love, loving kindness, compassion, healing, when we have that intention, when we are making sound, whether it is a hum, a mantra, a tone, whatever, that intention really is amplified. And it's reminding me of a beautiful formula that Jonathan created way back in the 80s when he probably first met you, Raja. Yeah. And it is frequency plus intent equals healing. Frequency meaning the sound and the intention together. Very important in healing. And that just creates the outcome. And what a blessing is nowadays. Uh, as you know, intention really is becoming so out there. Whether it is people like Bruce Lipton with his biology of belief or Joe Dispenza with the his whole placebo effect and how our belief in our consciousness manifests reality. Uh, we love it. There are people that Lynn Andrews with her uh, intention experiments are more and more people. But, you know, you remember back then in the 80s uh, when we were trying to introduce, uh, shall we say, more out there uh, concepts to the medical and scientific community and people would look at you, scratch their heads and go, well, you're not from this planet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> You guys, we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> yes, we have. And, of course, I would say, no, I'm not, I never said I was from this planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, my dear ones, I have uh, a few callers here who would like to ask you a question. Can we take a caller? All right, I'm going to unmute a few lines here, and if somebody has a question for Jonathan, please ask away. Hi, I have a question for Jonathan and Andy. You have a question for Jonathan and Andy. All right, perhaps they can answer at the same time. <laughs> oh, thanks for calling in. We'd be happy to answer. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. And Andy, I'm so pleased you're here because you're Jonathan's other half. And when Janik first did his first radio show in the summer of 2019, um, I had asked a question on how do I find the other half of my soul. And he gave this wonderful humming exercise with your thumbs in your ears and hum. And, uh, well, he just intends that the other person feels or connects with you. And um, I have a follow-up question for perhaps both of you could help. Uh, it's been two years <laughs> since then, and I know we're all on perfect divine timing, and, you know, there's this whole compassion and forgiveness for the universe and the omniverse and all those good things and the angels. But my question is, um, how is there an advanced humming practice that divine angels can help you actually marry the other half of your soul, you know, like a cosmic marriage? <laughs> That's my question. Thank you. What a beautiful wow. question. Wow, absolutely. And um, I would say it's really 
if still all in your consciousness and in your intent, because the more, of course, that you work with humming, the more adept you become. And, you know, literally, as you become really more adept, you can practically do anything, because it is sacred sound, it is sacred creational sound, it is sacred creational manifestational sound. So it all has to do with you and your projection of the intention onto the sound, uh, which on a level, uh, also we have to, as, as goofy as this seems, at the, uh, on the other level, we have to just release expectations so that we receive what is, shall we say, given us rather than what we want. Because as Mick Jagger said, you can't always get what you want, but you can get what you need. <laughs> Oh, and, and, and tell me your name. Oh, yes. I'm Astaria Serafina, and I'm a cosmic daughter of Daddy Grau Cyrus and Lady Venus. <laughs> oh, Astaria, well, thank you for that question. And, and, you know, and I think that, you know, just that integration within ourselves of that masculine and feminine energy and that wholeness within each of us, you know, tuning into that and, and humming. I know there are advanced, you know, there's Brahmari Pranayama where you do govern your eyes, your your ears, and you hum, and, and that's even a more, I mean, it, it depends on each individual. Yes, but it's, you know, very powerful. And, and just having that, holding that intention of that wholeness, I think, is what gets generated out into the field of energy. Just a, as a little aside, we recently on our HealingSounds.com website made available, I spent a whole lot of time cutting, pasting, and editing this uh, program we did 10 years ago in front of a live audience on. It was done on November 11th, 2011 to celebrate our 11th uh, wedding anniversary and it's called the 1111 Divine Name Seminar, and we're so proud of it, and it's available there. And I have to say that of all the sounds that I have personally experienced on the planet, probably the Divine Name, which one could go into, I'm not going to do it now, but if you can, uh, check it out and see if there's some uh, stuff that is of interest to you with regard to that one. That might be a, uh, it's, if you like, one of the great sonic offerings. Yeah, thank you so much for your question, Astaria. I hope that this has been helpful, and I hope that it's also been helpful to other people that are listening in, because I have a feeling that when we ask the question, there are many other people that are holding that same question. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you both. And I actually wrote this beautiful song, which is called Let There Be Love, which is dedicated to my beautiful teachers, Shri and Kira, because they also are this union soul. So, you know, there's lots of union exemplary couples out there on the planet, and it's nice that you're also holding the torch of light and love. So thank you. Oh, you thank you so much. Lots of love to you, Estonia. Oh, and I thank you very much for sharing all of your love. It's wonderful that we have twin flames, twin souls, twin lovers who share this love for all people to see. And Andy is so right that when one person asks a question, they say in the publishing business or the marketing business, that when one, is, one soul is brave enough to ask, you can bet your bottom dollar <laughs> that there are seven more out there at least, that have the same question. So if you take it in terms of thousands or millions of people, depending on how big the audience is, when one asks, there are so many more. Now, speaking of love, at this time, I would like to bring in, after thanking my beloved friends to share with us their love and their wonderful work, Jonathan and Andy Goldman. Don't forget to go on to the chat room and see all of their websites enumerated there by our wonderful Mimi, who has done a great job in that chat room. But I want to bring on now from a place called, I keep wanting to see the Cherokee Mountains of North Carolina, which is true this time because she's down there visiting her daughter. And this is our great, wonderful woman of love, Lawana Ryan, who is here with us to read to us her love letter. 
Thank you, Luana, so much for sharing your love letter with us. It's not often that you find people on earth that have been around for over nine decades writing love letters and sharing love. You are such a special soul. You are a guru. You are our guru of love and light, always focusing high energies and blessing all of us. We're so happy to have you with us. And we would like now to go to a place of heart since we're talking about love and we have the lovebirds here with us. I wonder if this little angel that I see over here in a place called Hartsville, South Carolina, if I unmuted her line, would she have a question for the gold mans and gold womans?
want to just send that gift of love right back to you. Uh, thank you for coming on and, and sharing your beautiful thoughts. And uh, Jonathan? Bringing back memories of uh, WeSock. Whoa, I remember that. I, I remember being at WeSock. <laughs> thank you yeah, so much. Thanks. And yeah. Many blessings of love and light through sound to you. Thank you. We heal the planet. We heal ourselves. We heal ourselves and we heal the planet. I thank my dearest friends, Jonathan and Andy Goldman and Goldwoman, for coming on and being with us today and sharing their love and their light. And I welcome them back all the time so they can always come and share. People love them everywhere. And don't forget all their websites, all their information, phone numbers, everything is in the chat room, written down for everybody to see. And now I would like to turn over uh, the next, uh, let's see, next uh, 14 minutes or 13 minutes to the epic lasers the beautiful gentleman Jim because we have a special three minute closing that's going to be presented by Dr. David of the Light Party who has chosen a special recording he, uh, of, of, of an ohm that he would like to close out with so he was, has requested a three minute closing session but other than that I would love it if gentleman Jim and the wonderful Astaria Serafina can come on and share the new news of the Healing Light Epic Lasers. Well, thank you very, very much, Don. It's really a fantastic show. And uh, as you know, I'm uh, very passionate about, about sound and, and, and light and uh, the combination of the two together. So for your, your host, uh, here today, or for your guest today, uh, to let them know that I have been researching the optimum combination of sound to go with our uh, light healing device. And, uh, but, you know, breaking this down to frequencies, I have a frequency generator in my lab and, and able to, to get very precise uh, frequencies and, and experiment with them in the combination with the, with the light. And uh, it's very, very exciting research. I love the, the sound healing day uh, beyond the, the science of the sound. I'm also a musician and, and uh, so very, very much understand the, the power that sound has to heal, the power that sound has to comfort. It can also be used in negative ways, which is terrible, uh, but uh, the right sounds at the right time can really move and motivate people. So I really love the work that you're doing. It's, uh, very, very impressive, and uh, up until I realized you were guests on the show today, I, I was not uh, that much aware of your work, and I'm uh, very happy to hear about it and learn about it today, so I just wanted to say uh, thanks for, for being the guest uh, here, and of course, thanks to Moana uh, for her lovely uh, love letter, and uh, I think what I'd like to do is have with Saria uh, maybe go through uh, some of her upcoming uh, meetings and shows and, and uh, let you, the audience, know uh, what it is that the Epic Lasers is up to. And as always, if you contact the Epic Lasers and you are interested in acquiring one of our devices, there's a very, very nice uh, show pricing special, which we're happy to offer. All you have to do is say, hey, I heard you on Zah's show, and you'll get a very nice uh, uh, discount and maybe a special gift uh, along with your order. So, sorry, I'll uh, turn the, the uh, microphone over to you. Uh, to go through our upcoming events. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, gentlemen, Jim. And thank you for following your heart all those years ago when you invented the laser and stepped into your mission. And many years ago, you said you wanted to do a, a mission to Ecuador so our team is realizing your dreams. So I'm so grateful that you're walking your walk and listening to the guidance of your soul. Uh, so thank you for that. And our team <laughs> is actually working on a new song. It's called The Healing Light in Every Home, and it matches our vision that our company will offer a healing light in every home, which means that we want everyone to heal themselves with light in 2021. We have an amazing article about this in the Sedona Journal. And uh, now, as Jim uh, kindly mentioned and Maddox mentioned earlier, the big exciting event will be 
Time Saves Life Expo. It will be streamed live from Los Angeles, California, and our keynote presentation with the moderation by Jimmy Church, as Eddie mentioned earlier, is Sunday, February 21st, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you go to ConsciousLifeExpo.com forward slash Zadig dash Ra dash Osiris dash 2021, but Google um, Zadig's name inside Conscious Life Expo, you'll see we're there. And I just want to take a couple highlights from Zadig's amazing introduction because he's very humble and doesn't really talk about all of his background, but he's actually a walk-in. Uh, galactic walk-in, and he was formerly known as Dr. Raja Merck Dove of Stardust, so he was very famous in the Omniverse. And we are so blessed to have Zadik with our company, Epic Leisure, since the year 2018, because he's helping us expand our consciousness as individuals, as a team, as a company, and realize this whole mission of bringing light onto the planet is actually an intergalactic mission because we want our beloved planet to ascend and to step into the age of light, into the age of higher consciousness, where we're all co-creating this new earth. And that's what Ecuador is all about, which I'll get to in a moment. But come hear our presentation, because it's going to be off-planet for sure. And Mystic Zedek Rao Cyrus will introduce to you Tesla Disciple Scientist Jamonic, whom you just heard about in great detail. We'll talk about Tesla's legacy. We'll talk about the Ascended Master, St. Germain, his role on the planet, his role in our company, and the age of Aquarius. So really incredible miracles are happening. And to continue the miracles, our team, as both Zadig and Zilna Jim mentioned, will be traveling to the first annual Women Wellness Awakenings Global Summit Technically, it's March 19 through the 21st. It stands for the workshop. Both Zadik and Jim will be presenting uh, alongside. Imagine this. Shri and Kira, Zadik, Jim, the best speakers on the planet, holding up a torch of light for humanity. It makes me want to cry just thinking what we're going to be able to do together. The amount of light that will be unleashed is extraordinary. So be there. Be there in person. Be there if you can virtually. Be there in your heart at home, just be there, be with us, intend, as, as Andy and Jonathan mentioned earlier, intend that love in your heart, protect it for humanity, please be there, and um, my God, I can't do it without crying, it's just, it, it's an extraordinary event, so please be there, um, forgive me, and New Living Expo in San Mateo, California will be right after April 9th through the 11th, 2021, that's com. um, I'm sorry, actually that got bumped to October, <laughs> but it'll, it'll be there energetically, so still tune in. Um, so we're waiting to hear the actual date in October, probably the second weekend in October 2021, so mark your calendar now. And then INAS uh, is intended to be live in person in Denver, Colorado on June 11th through the 13th. So these are the really big stars of our 2021 calendar of expos. But as um, both Zach and Jim said, you can visit our website, epiclasers.com, E-P-O-C-H-L-A-S-E-R-S.com, and hear about all of our new inventions and products that we're offering to heal the world and offer a healing light in every home. Thank you for being here. We love you all so much. You're, you're, you matter. Your presence matters. Thank you for being here. That is so wonderful. This angel is such a blessing that we have with the epic lasers helping she helps everything and i'm getting the message that instead of the crying from the soul we can hum to bring joy and maybe jonathan and andy can lead all of us i'm unmuting all lines and we have we have one minute to hum together jonathan and andy would you lead us in a hum Visualize the fabulous 
holographic image of the planet floating in front of you, and as we make this hum, our sound on the light and the love is encoding throughout the planet. So please join us. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I wanted you to know and feel, oh, and the music stopped and I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I know what I was going to say. I turned into a hummingbird and imagined what it was like to be a hummingbird, one of the highest vibrating frequencies on our planet. And now... We are introducing to you our dear Dr. David of the lightparty.com who is going to close us out with some beautiful music that he has selected for us. Line muted. <laughs> 